If you were to blindly drop me off here in the fort of Gaul and ask me where I was, my first guess would definitely not be Sri Lanka. Officially in Gaul and more specifically inside the gates of the fort. Of the fort. It's undoubtedly where you'll be when you come to Gaul. And although the place is pretty large, we're not gonna have enough time to explore it in in full today because we only have a few hours. So we're gonna spend our time trying to show you a few spots and things that you should put on your radar when you're here. standing in front of the oldest gate here, which was built in 1663. Now it is free completely to walk into the fort area and most of the sites you can see for free, but some of the museums do have a ticket price associated with them. So keep that in mind and plan your visit accordingly. A little town in here. You can actually stay in a hotel in here. There's museums, there's, there's churches, a lot of history, a lot of interesting architecture as well. Something to note when you're in Sri Lanka it's hot, very hot. Always pack sunscreen and drank a lot of water. There's never enough water. You can get it anywhere and it's cheap and you'll need it. Trust us. A lot of it. But seriously, this town has a lot of history. The fort was originally built by the Portuguese in the 16th century, and then the Dutch took it over in the 17th century, so this is an awesome place to come see like a cultural clash of architecture between Portuguese and Dutch. And, and British. And apparently, it's the oldest existing fort in all of Asia, built by European occupiers. blend of architecture here and you can tell which walls were built by the Portuguese versus the Dutch. So apparently the walls on the outside were built by the Dutch and then the other ones were built by the Portuguese. It's very very similar to like the streets of Europe. It really reminds me a lot of Portugal like Lisbon, Porto, the telhado rooftops and it's super quaint. There's coffee shops everywhere, hotels restaurants, some Sri Lankan, some foreign. There's gelato shops, you can get ice cream. And it's a good all around spot to come if you're bad and bougie. If you're coming to Gaul, you're going to want to check out some of the beaches nearby. Two of our favorites were Unawatuna and Jungle Beach. Now, the southern coastline of Sri Lanka is loaded with great beach towns, and we made a video on that to help you out. Right 
it. <laughs> According to Lonely Planet, it should be spectacular. So we're gonna read a book and then uh, recite the lines to you. 